Axel, I have a message from Lord Xemnas. Among the members assigned to Castle Oblivion, there are traitors. Find them, and dispose of them. I trust that really came from Lord Xemnas himself. Hello everyone and welcome back to Riku's story in Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. In the last episode, we defeated Captain Hook in all of Neverland. And in this episode, we are going to continue on to the 8th floor. Now we actually have one more world left, and that is Traverse Town. I know. I know what you're thinking. Riku in Traverse Town? This is crazy. We haven't seen that since Kingdom Hearts 1. You'd be right. And we get the key to beginnings, and we're here in Traverse Town with that beautiful, beautiful music. Ah, oh, brings back memories being here. Makes me want to play Kingdom Hearts 1, let me tell you. Alright, so we are actually going to do a lot of leveling here, and I highly recommend that you do the same, because the battles that we have coming up are going to be very, very difficult. So I highly recommend level up here. Just trust me and do it. And gnarly enough for us, we ended up leveling up to level 21. So now our health is going to be a 230. And that was the final battle of, of this room in Traverse Town. Uh, it's very weird being here, to be honest with you, with deck-wise, because our, our look how small our deck is. Literally three combos, that's it. But we do get the Shadow card, which increases the value of all cards by one for two reloads. That's helpful. It is indeed helpful, I just, I don't know man, it's it's not quite good enough, you know what I mean? It makes, it makes this world kind of hard, but it is decent for leveling because the enemies don't use actual high leveled cards. So as long as you're like doing this well, uh, you can, you can pretty substantially level up. Uh, in, in various different ways. So we have to get all the way over here. So we're just going to go ahead and use this center room here. Um, I'm going to come back and clean this up and, and defeat all the enemies that we can. We're just going to use a Tranquil Darkness yet again. Beautiful. And there's only one room for us to use. So we'll just, oh, we'll just hop up and go use that one as well. And we'll use this door, which is going to require a level 3 or higher. Perfect. Uh, I don't really actually want to use that. I'm going to use a level 3 Looming Darkness. Uh, a level 3. And we are just going to see if we can avoid all of these guys. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the room that we want is actually the one right next to us. So we'll go ahead and use this door. We'll be able to do that, no problem. We need a level 4 or higher. Uh, let's go ahead and use an Almighty Darkness, level 5, because, again, I'm going to try to avoid the enemies in here anyways. So I don't really care that, uh, that they're going to be Almighty. You know what I'm saying? Because we're going to just head... Uh, ooh, I thought I could jump on that, but I couldn't. We're just gonna head right, as soon as we can, right to the, uh, the last door of Traverse Town, which is going to lead to the boss of Traverse Town, which I wonder who it could possibly be. Now, we need a red card that's level zero, perfect, and we will go ahead and use our Key to Beginnings card. Here we go. We're gonna face the boss of Traverse Town, the one that I feel like should be the face of Kingdom Hearts. It's guard armor. Oh, shuckaroonies. We got this. So we are going to right off the bat start with Genie Jafar so that he can't actually break us. And then we're just literally going to hit him right in the feet because it doesn't totally matter here. Now, again, we don't have enough cards, so I don't fully recommend actually using any slates because you can't risk losing a card. So now we are going to use these uh, for our holy burst. Although, again, I wouldn't totally recommend doing that. We're going to do it just because it will do a tremendous amount of damage. But we really just don't want to risk losing any of our combos here. Holy Burst, though, is so powerful that I don't really see a reason not to, uh, if you know what I mean. So we can literally just kind of just kind of hit him as much as we want here. And he's not going to be able to do too much to us. Uh, unfortunately, he is able to hit us a little bit there, but we'll be able to break him. We already got one of his feet down. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't paying attention and did not see that he was using that. And let's see if we can actually hit any of his... Uh, all right. So he did end up using... So we're going to go ahead and use 
Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Let's go ahead and pick that up, and then we'll go ahead and do this yet again. So in this fight, I would actually say that you want to use Mickey to heal, not necessarily to do anything else. All right, that, that, that hurt. All right, and then we will take down his foot. Perfect, and we can use a gimmick card, which if I'm not mistaken, a gimmick card will actually make him fall to the ground. Yes, perfect. And then we will just be able to hit him with a bunch of different combos, which we'll be able to do some, some significant damage here. And down he will go. Guard armor taken down. The boss of Traverse Town. See how quickly these worlds go by? I mean, for you guys, this was probably like, what, three minutes so far? Not even? And not even a level up. That makes me sad. Goodbye, little guard armor. Now, it is interesting to me, storyline-wise, why the guard armor and Genie Jafar and, like, all of this other stuff is actually in Riku's memories, right? Because Castle Oblivion... Isn't it creating memories? I don't know. So if we go ahead, we can actually... Oops, it's not what I wanted to do. We can go ahead, look at our deck, and see the new card that we got, which was the Guard Armor. Slightly extends the range of attack cards. Not super useful. Honestly, you're probably not going to be using it at all. We've completed this room, so now we can proceed through this door. Although we don't totally need to... I'm going to go ahead and open this with a Looming Darkness card, just because we have so many of them. Uh, but we are on our way to Conqueror's Respite. But to do that, I'm going to be battling all of the Poke all of the Pokemon. Oh my god. All of the Heartless. My mind is still on fire red. I tell ya. I tell ya. Uh, we want to be doing that while we make our way to the one and only Conqueror's Respite. Which is, should be over here, if I'm not entirely mistaken. Finally, we got another level, so we are now level 22. I'm gonna put more points into our health, uh, just because I have noticed that the enemies are becoming a lot tougher, or it's not even really our enemies, right? It's more the fact that uh, our deck is becoming weaker. Okay, now we can go ahead and use this door, even though it's not totally necessary. We need a seven or higher. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and actually use, uh, we don't wanna use any of our meeting ground cards because we really, really want those. I'm gonna go ahead and use our bottomless darkness here. We're gonna use the level eight, or value eight bottomless darkness, just to open the room. And then we're just going to literally just proceed as far as we can. Um, to the next door, which is right over here. I'm actually not even going to fight any of these. I just wanted to do that. And then we will use a zero card right here. And I'm thinking we will use an almighty darkness and just avoid these fights altogether. Uh, I really, really recommend not fighting in this world with an almighty darkness card. I was, at all. It's really bad. Okay, and now from here, what we want to do is we actually want to go all the way back here. There were quicker ways to do this. I just wanted to see if we could get a couple of levels in here. I just, I don't know if it is the best area to do so. Uh, the enemies, they just have a little bit higher cards than you, and they're just going to continually card break you, and it's, it's really frustrating when that happens. And because our deck is so small, we don't even have, oops. We don't even have slates to be able to card break them, which is like, well, then goodbye, because we can't actually do anything. So let's go ahead, use this. We need a level four card. We'll go ahead and use our Teeming Darkness. Teeming Darkness level four. Which will open this door. And if I'm not entirely mistaken, perfect. Oh, look at the mailbox. Oh, I missed you, mailbox. This will lead us to our next destination, which of course is going to be Conqueror's Respite, which is right over here. Let's go ahead, enter, con enter Conqueror's Respite, because we absolutely should be saving. Uh, if we died now, things would just be awful. And let's go ahead and save. Now, before you continue, I really, really do recommend going back to previous rooms, if you skipped any enemies, and going and leveling up. Seriously, highly recommend it. All right, and once you're saved, continue on out of Conqueror's Respite 
and something sinister. Huh? What are you supposed to be? Surprised? I guess you should be. After all, I look just like you. I'll tell you what I am. I'm an exact replica of you that Vexen made from your data. So you're a fake me. Not a fake! I don't care if you're real. You're not better. We share the same body and the same talents. But there is one easy way to tell us apart, though. Unlike you, I fear nothing. Are you calling me a coward? You're afraid of the dark. The darkness inside you still frightens you, no matter what you say. But I'm different. I embrace the darkness. I can make it do whatever I want. So... I can wipe the floor with you. Yeah, let's see about that, Riku. Let's see about that. So, right off the bat, we are going to go ahead and switch to our Genie Jafar card. Because that is going to be absolutely necessary if you want to survive this fight on Proud Mode. This fight is hard. Let me tell you, it's just straight up hard. I'm not gonna lie, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie to you. It's very, very difficult. But if we stay on top of him with all of, all of, all of our combos that we can, I am thinking that we can be able to do this. Now, we are going to go ahead and use Inverse Burst. Now, luckily for us, we do have our attack, so that's going to be able to do some damage to him, which is just wonderful. That's going to last so long. And now we're going to lay back into him. He used his Helm Split and wasn't able to actually do anything against us. I'm going to go ahead and see if we can hit him with Dark Break. And we're just going to lay into him. Now, it would actually be nice if we could... There we go. And we'll use Dark Aura. You guys might remember Dark Aura from Kingdom Hearts 1. And down goes Replica Riku. That went, that went really smooth. And we leveled up. And of course, we're going to put a point into attack up, uh, which is good for us. And we hit level 23, baby. No cards, though. Hey, fake! I thought I heard you say you were gonna wipe the floor with me. <laughs> Don't forget, I'm still new. I'll get stronger and stronger. The next time we fight, you're finished. Then let's fight now! <laughs> ah! Ah! It's nice having darkness on my side. You are so missing out. How could you be scared of something that can be so thrilling? Enough! <laughs> so now the coward is playing tough. So long, real thing. Hope you don't miss me. Come back! No way. I'm not a coward. I would agree, Riku. You're a lot of things, but a coward? I don't know, man. I don't know. So, we... We just finished the first set of world cards that we had. So let's continue, and let's head up here. So, how was the real thing? He's spineless. In no time at all, I'll be better than him. In the meantime, would you be interested in meeting another who's considered a hero? You mean Sora. I hear he's somewhere in the castle. You want me to take care of him? We'll see, yes. 
I intend to make good use of you. No worries. The real Riku is nothing. Sora won't be either. They're no match for me. Come out! Show yourself, fake! Fake? Oh no. That's not exactly the right word. What are you saying? Isn't he just a copy of me? More like a model. He is an example of what you should try to be. He accepts the darkness. Just like you once couldn't help but accept me. But now you are afraid. Perhaps you are the one who is being fake. Fake when you pretend to have no fear. When have I been afraid of the dark? Inside of the card worlds, you grapple desperately with the darkness. Desperation is fear. You fight the darkness because it is what frightens you. I... Be quiet! Stubborn boy. Then continue your fight if you must. Eventually, you will learn. You cannot resist the darkness. And we get four new cards. Olympus Coliseum, Wonderland, Halloween Town, and Atlantica. And we get a trophy. Challenge from the Inner Darkness. All right. So, that is it for this episode. In the next episode, we will continue to the one and only Wonderland, which is going to be very, very difficult uh, because our deck is going to be absolutely horrendous. There is a lot happening right now in the story of this game. Uh, and if you haven't yet, be sure to click on one of the things that are showing up right now on screen. You can actually go and watch the Chain of Memories uh, playlist from Sora's point of view. Also showing up is a video that YouTube has recommended that you watch. It is specifically chosen that video for you, viewer. So, so you're welcome. You're very welcome. And if you want to support the channel, be sure to click on that Patreon button thing that's showing up, and you can actually get rewarded uh, different different things. A dollar, a dollar a month will get you early access to these videos. So, boom, baby. Boom. If you like this video, be, please be sure to give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, and remember, never give up, never surrender to the darkness.